figure out how to record or to view the recordings that students have, the views that students have on the recorded e sessions. So, first thing is you will want to pick a week. Like, say, I'm picking week 11 in my physical science class. Um, just so I know, I will look up the pace chart and on iCal to see the start and stop dates, which you will see in a, in a few minutes are important when we're setting this, this to run this report. But how to uh, make your make uh, make your recordings be tracked? Um, if you there's a couple ways to do it. One is well, you know just like you set up a web link and you put all the stuff in, but then down oops down here we need to track number of views. Set set that to yes, um, along with the anything else you want to put in the link and the title and so on. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do anything different here, but you'd click submit. Okay. And so then uh, another way of going about that is you, then you come to your week 11 and you click on the little arrow and you could uh, go to track statistics on or off. That's another place in case you forgot to do it, that you could turn it on and then you could just tracking it's it is on because i turned it on when i did it in week 11. so that's another way you can track them or turn the tracking on now how do you see the, the data that it's been tracking so here's week 11. so i click the side and view statistics report right under statistics tracking on off view statistics report so then you'll get a window i usually put in the week here i'm not sure if it's important or not and do not click go. That was confusing to me. You have to go back to the little arrow, content, use statistic, the little arrow, and then run the report. And then you get some choices. And this is where you want to put the dates in that I said you, you should look up ahead of time. So I'm going to say it's from 11. Nine. What? Okay. Must have done something wrong here. Eleven nine. From a start date to eleven sixteen. That seems to be, and all the all the students are uh, selected users. And then you can go to submit, and it processes the request. And then you want to download the report if you want to see it. And here's what you get um, by day. Who's uh, three people looked at it on the 11th, the day I, I created it. Uh, that was a Tuesday that two, one person looked up thir uh, Thursday, and I think that's Monday the 15th. Uh, it just gives you a little stat there. So then if you scroll, you can see that Brady Bickhart viewed it on the 11th. So he was this quick. No other ones. Uh, so you scroll some more, and we've got uh, Levi looked at the on the Monday, and then uh, Pish looked at it on the day we did it, but later, the recorded session. So two on this page, and looking at this correctly, none on this page. We got to the end here, and jo Jennifer looked at it twice on the day we created. So the total was three views on this day, one view on the Thursday, and one view on the Saturday. You can look down a little bit more, and it gives you the time of the day that they were that they were viewed, uh, mostly between you know looks like between twelve uh, one and two, um, and a couple more. Uh, what is it, about 8 o'clock? Somebody looked at it about 8 o'clock. 
uh, day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So that's the report it gives you. I guess you could probably uh, download those or uh, run a screenshots if you needed to prove someone was um, in your in your uh, recorded session. But that's the uh, report that it runs. I, I hope this was uh, uh, something that you found you find valuable. Have a great day.